Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. <laughs> but this one, this is this video is gonna be different. This video is um why I mean this this printer. I'm kind of frustrated with this printer. Like this printer is for lack of better words, a piece of shit. You know, I got the SG 800 um it's it's okay but for the price they can do much better you know what i'm saying um this video is going to show you like all the tricks it, it'll kind of be like troubleshooting um if you ever have problems with the sg 800 like i had mine for um, probably about a good year and a half and i've been using it non-stop for um using it non-stop for i would say probably about like a good probably about eight months because it used to frustrate me to no end so as you see i got this um i got the bypass machine the little bypass tray to fit the 13 by 19 that's the only reason why i got this jump and if you notice yeah this is tape you know what i'm saying this is tape right here sometimes when you put uh multiple sheets of 13 by 9 paper in this back jump here it tends to pull like four fucking sheets of paper, which is which is irritating because it'll print on one and then it might shriek on the, the last three. So what I learned was I had to put like a piece of tape right here because this is like the the paper indicator, like to indicate like the papers in there, and I load it. You know what I'm saying one sheet at a time. All right, frustration number two. After every time it prints, it's it's like it gets confused. It's like change setting, change setting. It's so stupid. So what I do, I press this. It says change bypass setting. So I click on form feed, and then I go to the tray. I'm not printing eight and a half by eleven. I'm printing my custom size. Is it thirteen by nineteen? Then I click enter. Then you see it goes to ready. All right, so that's that's frustration number two. Sawgrass, I mean, and their customer support sucks. Customer support sucks. All right, so you see, I'm loading it one sheet at a time. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm doing some dye sublimation mask. I mean, you paying all this money for this machine, and it's, it's still bootleg as a bitch. All right, so basically, all right, you see, that's in there. Frustration number three. Yeah, I had to get this new this new computer just to do dye sublimation. All right, so we're gonna go to open local file. Uh, let's see, where we at? Hold on. What I gotta click on? Okay, all right, yeah, right there. Um, so I'm doing some dye sublimation mask. Frustration number four. Okay, so when you whenever you put your output settings, let's say you're doing 13 by 19, right? And you size the paper 13 by 19. Sometimes it's like a red error message here. And it and you gotta like switch it a little, you gotta adjust it a little bit so that's a little bit under 13 by 19. But you know, that's another video. Um, so what I do on my Photoshop, I size it 12 by 8 by 18.7, you know, just a little bit under. You know what I'm saying? 13 by 19. And it automatically reverse. And I click print, right? All right, cool. I'm going to click print. Frustration number five. The shit just don't print. The shit just don't print straight out. It takes like a good, like, like, like two minutes. You know what I'm saying? It takes two minutes. This is a brand new computer. You know what I'm saying? It takes like two minutes for the jump to pop up. All right, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for it, y'all. Hit the like button. You know, hit the subscribe button because I'm really frustrated with sawgrass. Very frustrated. All right, so um, I got some more videos coming up. Um, you know, make sure y'all put in the comment box what y'all want to see because I got a whole bunch of topics. But I, you know, what I'm saying it's just like I got so much. You know, I need to write it. I write down a list of everything that I can make a video for because there's so much helpful information.
Um, but if you're looking to get a sawgrass print, oh, see, there it goes. But that, that took about like a minute. Just to, just to fucking print. Okay, here we go. But yeah, I mean, honestly, my review of this printer, you know what I'm saying? If you're looking for a budget uh, dye sublimation printer, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I think this was like 1500 um it's it's okay it's frustrating as hell i want to see how that new epson I, I believe epson has a bigger die sub printer and i'm pretty sure you know it should be pretty good not too sure but sawgrass this jump you know what i'm saying you can get you can probably get something else a little better uh, my next investment probably will be into like an old key printer. Like those little old key printers or whatever to do white toner um, gels. Because I was thinking about getting a, a direct to garment printer, but you know what I'm saying? All the $15,000, I'm like, come on, man. They didn't got to do so much for it. But yeah, this is the ink. <laughs> this is the little, this is like some shit from China. The inks are still working good. Um, don't believe that hype where they say, oh yeah, if you get ink of the fucking Jonah. Nah, Sawgrass is already fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's the weight, the waste ink collection unit. Um, I got a new pack of XC ink. Cause as you see, I've been printing out so much that the yellow's going out. So I got, a, I got another pack of this. That's been doing me good. But yeah, Sawgrass, y'all. They trying to just make some money for real, cause this is, this is not good. This is not good. But um, yeah. Ooh, look at that. And I think the the um aftermarket ink prints way better than uh, the stuff they recommend to you. So one, two, three. But this is what I'm making. I'm making some masks. Um, this is my pattern here, 13 by 19. She ladies getting 20 masks. So one, hold on. Six, six to a sheet. All right, so I'm all done. I don't need no more. All right, so these are the uh, mask here. I already did the, you know, already did the uh, measurements and stuff like that. Uh, somebody locally made these masks. These masks are pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hand stitched everything. Um, so yeah, I got my heater, my Chinese heater. Um, this video is sponsored by China. <laughs> but yeah, it's heating up to that 400, uh, 400 degree mark. Basically 60 seconds, I'm gonna knock it out like that. Um, hmm, I don't know if I should keep this video going to show you like the color output, cause you know the color is good. But uh, yeah, this, maybe another video, maybe another video, y'all. All right, if you like this video, if you wanna see more, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm trying to give you this this content so you can be successful or hopefully this is kind of review uh, what to buy, what not to buy. You know what I'm saying? All right. Peace.